The kicker is Morgan doesn't know the original. No. She just knows I don't know what this. it is, but it's just cute. <laughs> I like it. I think that clip is notorious because I think they said that was the only clip Sesame Street ever did that had absolutely no educational value. Oh, that's why I like it so much. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it just found it, it interesting and funny. Anyway. I just love it. Yeah. All, All right. right, Larry, you're up first. Number nine, air travel is rebounding again, and that means those Sweet. lovable oh, Biscoff cookies are back. Sweet. Last year, United announced it was planning to remove the treat and replace it with Oreo thins, but so many people complained. The airlines changed its mind. Really? Headlines around. A lot of people complain. Yeah, they're, they're delicious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had one. Pretty Maybe good. I've... Not ter not bad. You know, yeah. they get it, the job done. Yeah. But I can't nice imagine taking flavor. the time to call and say, right. "Hey." Robin. Let's you know? not talk about three inches of leg room. The world for the last yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. 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 So the original name of these cookies was going to be called. Um, what was it? It was Speculoos. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Well, Speculoos. They didn't think it was catchy or attractive enough, so it was changed oh, to Biscoff right. by the Belgian bakery that makes them. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, number eight. If you work from home and you spend lots of time on the phone, you might already know about this the Sony neckband speaker. It fits loosely around the neck. It makes those conference calls a, a lot more comfortable since you don't have to listen to someone yapping directly in your ear all day. It also makes it easier to do some other things while still pretending like you're paying attention to the phone call. And this speaker isn't just for conversations. You can also use it to listen to music so you can run on the treadmill or ride that bike without worrying about it. Uh, since we all know those earbuds can sometimes fall out, this newest version hit stores in September for about 149 bucks. Can't wait to see a lot of the ladies in my neighborhood wearing those around their necks, having phone conversations at the uh, top of their lungs. Yeah. That's not insufferable at all. Yeah, then you'd hear the other side of the conversation, yeah. too. Well, right? I hear yeah. it now because they walk around with the phone on speaker or they're yeah. FaceTiming while they're walking. Oh, yeah. no, lunch. no. Oh, yeah. oh yes. While you're walking? Oh, yes, while they're just walking. Yeah, talking to their Pilates Speaking, coach. Speaking, yeah, their Pilates <laughs> coach or their pre, 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 pre K teacher for their kids. Right? Just at the top of their lungs, screaming. Yeah. Hands free to do what? They're not using their hands for anything. Yeah. yeah. Joey's gifted. Oh. Yeah. He is gifted. Like, they always, what did I say? They always do this one. The phone like this. I know. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> right. Oh. Right. Oh. So true. The worst. Oh. The worst, oh, I say. Oh, Lord. All right. Number seven. Giant pandas are no longer on China's endangered species list. There are more than 1,800 pandas in the wild now. They've been redesignated as a vulnerable species, and that's actually a good thing. It means they're right on track. Large areas of China's, China's natural ecosystems have been overhauled and protected, and wildlife habitats have been improved. And they're cuddly as all get out. They'll kill but you they'll dead. kill you dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Them too? Oh, yeah. They're a bear, Morgan. Of it's course. a bear. <laughs> yeah. I really don't, yeah. It's they all look, marketing. I guess I don't ever think about it. Yeah. It's very snuggly looking, but yeah. yeah. Killed yeah. you dead. Hmm. Yeah, they fooled you, didn't they, Morgan? <laughs> they did. Look, he's smoking I a cigarette there. He looks harmless. Looks like a friend. Yeah. He's playing a <laughs> <food. laughs> They look evil, peeking yeah. out around the tree. Yeah. There's darkness behind those eyes. <laughs> yeah. All right, number six. A guy in New Zealand just spent $20,000 on a house plant, making it the most expensive house plant of all time. It's known as the Mini Monstera plant. It's very rare. But $20,000, it was sold on an auction website, and by the time the auction closed, it had 102,000 potential buyers. The plant is known for its monster-like split leaves that contain multiple colors. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> we did a little investigative work and found one of these plants on Etsy for $10,000. Huh. Wow. Oh, boy. Now you get yeah. something just as nice at the Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. You know, and you won't have to water it. Right. I mean, my plant, I cannot keep a plant alive. Even the flowers That's I buy shot. in those pre potted yeah. things, mm -hmm. it's I like they really just give up. Been... They're like, I can't take it in this house anymore. I would have thought uh, you'd have been so dedicated to those yeah. plants. <laughs> right. What a shocker. Right. You can't stand the sound of your kids crying, your dog yeah. runs away, and your plants, plants die. die on you.
What is going on at that house? It's like the Stranger Things house I'm, you're living in. I, <laughs> it's like the upside down. Over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number five, a long time before air conditioning was a thing, people had to find creative ways to stay cool. And way, way back in the 1780s, a musical instrument maker named John Cram came up with the fan chair. People would use their feet to operate the fan as it moved above their head. George Washington reportedly uh, paid 32 shillings for one. <laughs> ben Franklin hmm. also had one, but in the end, it was deemed too clunky to appeal to the masses. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what they were doing there, just rocking in the chair, and then it would, well. Yeah, I sorry. Know. Yeah, no, it's all right. Listen, all right. that's. Mm. All right, number good four. Journalist. You ask questions. <laughs> Looking for love? Take another look at your friends. Some relationship scientists did a study. They interviewed 1,900 people. 68% said their most recent romantic relationship began as a friendship versus meeting online or at a bar. And here's the interesting part. In many cases, the couples were just friends for one or two years before beginning a romantic relationship. Mm. And they didn't enter into their initial friendship with any intent for romance. The love just blossomed and found them. Huh. From friends to lovers. Yeah. Is that how you met Mr. X? I don't, you guys don't just don't say that word lovers to me. It, it's very I'm just reading what's on the yeah, screen, we don't, Robin. It's just, I didn't it's, write it. it. Sounds like it would be awkward to start dating a friend of yours. Doesn't that get weird? I don't know. I mean, you're not I, friends with your husband, are you? I mean, I am now, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he's all right now. But Maybe yeah, not you're friends beginning. first. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, think about when you're like in college, you have all those big groups of friends. Mm -hmm. So maybe when you're all hanging out, they're figuring out after a while, like, oh, maybe I like that person more. I don't yeah. know. When you get older, I mean, do you have many friends anyone? No, you got your... <laughs> I've heard of enough friends. I've got no time for any more friends. I mean, you got a couple yeah. of, you know. Yeah. And where do you it's even too meet much friends? That's just days. it. It's exhausting. Yeah. 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 I mean, I guess we're kind of friends because we work together, but I mean, I don't need to spend more time with you outside the office. Yeah. That would be exhausting. Yeah. And when I go to Channel 7 next year, we'll probably never speak to each other again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Count that. <laughs> oh, no. I keep leaving voicemails on and Tracy they don't Butler's. Answer. It's, it's probably something wrong with her voicemail. Yeah, I'm sure it is. She'll see this, though, now. Yeah. I'll get the call later. <laughs> All right, number three. Uh, not much of a pool shark. This is really cool. Okay. Sorry, let me read. Maybe you're play, playing pool on the wrong table. Forget the rectangle thing. You need this elliptical table where the math is always on your side. A talented engineer who was frustrated at always losing in pool cleverly adapted the game so that every ball would sink in at any time. Every single one. Every single one. He cut wow. that table. Possible. Well, he cut the pool table, so I don't know if it's fair, but into this <laughs> elliptical shape. Angled the table at a strategic degree, marked a spot for the ball, and then sank every single shot without fail. Wow. It's all angles. Cool. All I love right. playing pool. Boy, that would never get old. So, but you have to start the ball at that same spot every time? Yeah, right, but yeah, you, you, you gotta hit, hit it, it at anywhere? the right angle. No, there's certain angles you gotta hit. Oh. He's probably got a mark there. Yeah. For the angle he's gotta hit. Science. Maybe, yeah. Math. Huh. Not as enthusiastic as I hoped. I thought we'd banter yeah, longer about that. You know, science, you know how you get it. We're, I know, we're she gets morons. all jacked up about yeah. it, but that's the thing. Get my own little nine at nine one of these days, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, a fashion student in England created a new corset for men. Whoa. His name is uh, Denek Lusk. He created a slim, tapered line that is said to enhance the male figure, giving a V shaped appearance. It's made of a special tape with plastic boning and webbing. Lusk suggests people wear the corset to nightclubs or out for drinks with friends. It seems comfortable enough to oh, yeah, take the right. club in, right? Yeah. You ever wore a pair of spanks? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, the guy wouldn't last five, five no, minutes I'll, in there. I'll that. go out on a limb and say yeah. that <laughs> very few, if any, men will wear this. <laughs> if you can, if you can pull it off. You know, or you I'm just, just hit the gym and get real lats like Larry and I did. Right. You know what I mean? Put but, some work in. They're going to find out sooner or later. <laughs> well, you yeah. better like the package no matter what feel we Feel Larry's lat like muscles. Feel his back. No. Go ahead. No. Pull those shoulders uh, back, Larry. No. All these Ready? years hasn't happened yet, no. Larry. All right. But it's, you're right. Larry always says this, too. Don't say he didn't offer. Yeah. You're right. Larry always <laughs> says this. It's like you can't. It's, it's, it's. 
What do you Can't call false another... advertising when you have yeah. all of this this equipment on underneath and I then all of a sudden, you know. I don't think that's true. You, you know, you peel back the layers of the onion, you find out yeah, there's. Yeah, but at that point, we really don't care. Yeah, you're the other. <laughs> once, we get to that, once we get to that inning of the game, you're going to stop. We're fine with just seeing it through. <laughs> but here's what happens. We may not play a double header, but we're going to finish the game. <laughs> oh right? You've got to finish what you start. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? There was that story about the, the guy who married this woman who was beautiful and then found out she had plastic surgery. So when they had kids, he, could, he, he knew why kids. the kid was ugly. Yeah. Because the wife really was ugly. She was just did a whole makeover thing. And he, he divorced, he sued her. He got her. rid of her. He, I he think he won. sued her and he, he won. He won in court. This wow. was in, he sued her for ugly men, kids? Men, well, no. Yeah, he men, for men, false men. deceptive. <laughs> that's basically what he yeah, yeah. No. That's something for fraud or something. Well, I'd love to know how his relationship is with his kid at this yeah, point. Yeah, right. That's terrible. Right. Sure. All right, number one, let's take a look back at the official coffee of the 1976 Olympic Games. Can you guess? I take a break. You sell the brim at these Olympics. You get busy like a beaver. Everybody loves a brim. Only brim decaffeinated coffee has been chosen the official coffee of the 1976 Olympic Games. Oh, yeah. Me too. I love the brim. It's got some Boy, great ground flavor. Yeah, that's not okay, decaffeinated, kid. I don't think. Here we go again. Brim with great ground flavor <laughs> and decaffeinated. Me too. Oh. It's the Olympic coffee. Do you remember the jar? You'd have those jars of... of uh, you know, the instant coffee. What yeah. was it, you know, that your Sanka. mom would have? Morgan, I think maybe we should just talk amongst ourselves. <laughs> no, like ourselves. the freeze-dried coffee that was that you'd keep in the cabinet that you could just put in hot water, remember? Yep. Sanka. That was Sanka. No, Sanka was just regular coffee. No. Yeah, yeah. Sabo? It was decaffeinated coffee. I'm not talking about the, the freeze-dried uh, ones. Yeah, I... You know. Was it... Folgers? Don't leave me, Pat. I know. No, I know. <laughs> I know you got sucked in, about. didn't you? It was different well, brands. Was it, yeah. All had the kind of... All right, now I'm sounding... Taster's like, Choice. Taster's Choice. I'm sounding very old-timey now. I gotta stop. Yeah, it was freeze-dried crystals that you yes. just put in hot yeah. water. I remember my mother had that for Thank a while. Thank you. Yeah, well, there's your commercial for tomorrow's number one, <laughs> 9 All these people are getting my yeah. ear with all these... The 9 or 9. <laughs> 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 <laughs>